there he is. The White Horse Tavern was, it was the place where Dylan Thomas took his last drink. Some say his last 36 drinks. <laughs> and I thought it only fair when I met Bob Dylan first. He came in as a young fellow of 20. I was in my 20s. We used to hang around together. And uh, there was a couple of great things, good things going about the White Horse. I had a tab there for one thing, and we had no money. I also wanted him to come and see the place where his namesake had died. But also, we had uh, fantastic sessions in the back room. <laughs> One of the songs that Dylan loved when we used to sing it uh, was uh, the song about the highwayman, Willie Brennan. We had gotten it from an old timer. It was a long, tall, big, long ballad, slow as molasses. And we livened it up to, uh, to give it the gait of a galloping horse. And it went like this. The chorus was like this. Brennan on the moor, Brennan on the moor. Brave and undaunted was young Brennan on the moor. And one morning, after, the night, after a night at the, the White Horse, I was rushing off with guitar, concertina in hand, off to... Uh, do a television show when I met Bob Dylan on 4th Street. And he said, hey, man, I wrote a song last night to Brendan on the moor. You want to hear it? You want to hear it? You want to hear it? I said, I, can't, I don't have time. I'm rushing off to this television show. I said, how long is it? He said, it's only 26 verses, man. <laughs> I said, well, yeah. could you not, you know, condense it a little bit? He said, couldn't be done, man. It's too good. So we condensed it for him. He called it Ramblin' Gamblin' Willie, and here's the way he, he had it. Hit a bit of it. Come around your roving gamblers, a story we will tell about the greatest gambler. You all should know him well. His name was Willie Connolly, and he gambled all his life. He had 27 children, yet he never had a wife. And this ride, Willie, ride. Roll, Willie, roll. Wherever you're a gambler now, nobody really knows. Sailing down the Mississippi to the town of New Orleans, there was a famous card game on the Jackson River Queen. I've come to win some money, old gambler, Willie said. And when the game was ended up, the whole damn boat was his. And this ride, Willie, ride. Roll, Willie, roll. Wherever you're a gambler now, nobody really knows. But Willie had a heart of gold, and this I know is true. He supported all his children and all their mothers, too. He wore no rings or fancy things like other gamblers wore. He spread his money far and wide to help the sick and poor. And this ride with the ride, roll with the roll. Wherever you're the gambler now, nobody really knows. It was late one fateful evening as they played a poker game. A man lost all his money, he said, Willie was to blame. He shot poor Willie through the heart, it was a tragic thing. As Willie's cards fell on the floor, there were aces back with age. And it's right, Willie, you right. Roll, Willie, roll, wherever you're a gambler, now nobody really knows. All you roving gamblers, wherever you might be, the moral of this story is very plain to see. Spend your money while you can before you have to stop. For when you pull that dead man's hand, your gambling days are up. And this ride will he ride. Roll will he roll. Wherever you're the gambling now, nobody really knows. And this ride will he ride. Roll will he roll. The place was, the White Horse was run by, was owned by an old German named Ernie, known as Ernie the German, <laughs> strangely enough. <laughs> he always, at the close of the night, Ernie would say, you don't have to go home, but yet 
can't stay here. <laughs> and uh, we used to close with a parting glass. And the parting glass was, uh, it became a, a ritual to do the parting glass. I'll sing you one verse of it just to give you an idea. Oh, all the money there I spent, I spent it in good company, and all the harm that e'er I've done, alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be. Well, this song stuck in Bob Dylan's mind at a tough point in his life where he was saying farewell to old friends and who had accused him of taking money wrongfully and things like that. He was moving on and he rushed into the studio and recorded a song called The Restless Farewell. And at the end of the first verse, he described so graphically the back room of the White Horse at closing time. All the money that in my whole life I spent, be it mine right or wrongfully, I let it slip gladly past the hands of my friends to tie up the time most forcefully but the bottles are done we've killed each one and the table's full and overflow and the corner sign says it's closed in time so I'll bid farewell and be down the road and every girl that ever I touched oh I didn't do it harmfully and every girl that ever I hurt, I didn't do it knowingly. But to make amends and remain as friends, you need the time to stay behind. And since my feet are now fast And point away from the past I'll bid farewell And be down the line And every foe that ever I fought The cause was there before we came and every cause that ever I fought I fought it full without regret or shame but the time is not tall if on time you depend and no world is possessed by no special friend and though the line is cut, it's still not the end. I'll just bid farewell till we meet again.
Kevin Evans. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Liam Clancy.